Hi there. Rollouts are pretty fun, yeah? Especially those explosive classes, they get to jump around before the round starts, right? Well, not the engineers, we gotta get to work. It's a race against the clock to have all of your stuff up and ready to go, so just like the demo man mains who argue over which side of the door frame to put their stickies on, and soldiers discussing which ramps to slide off of, engineers get to try and solve the problem of how to get it up. And fast, before those gates open and people start throwing themselves at your nest. So this video is going to be basically a compilation of the most effective ways to get all of your buildings out onto the field before the round starts. So I had three goals in mind when doing these rollouts. First thing I wanted to get down was efficiency. I didn't want to overcomplicate things. I tried to make every movement fluid and fill as much dead time as I could with productive action. So in order to make these actions smoother, I use a few binds and scripts. I use a loadout quick switch bind that allows me to switch between my loadout presets at the press of a button, which is very useful for switching between wrenches quickly or resetting my metal supply without having to walk all the way over to the resupply cabinet. I use a Eureka effect script that allows me to teleport to spawn just by pressing one button instead of two. And I also have every building bound to a key which allows me to place them down and destroy them without ever having to access my PDA. These things combined shave multiple seconds off of my setup and cut down on the amount of buttons I have to keep pressing. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but it is totally worth it. The second thing I focused on was building levels. I tried to get it so every building was level 3 before the gates open, which is pretty easy to do on some maps where the setup time is pretty long, but most setup times are about 60 to 70 seconds long, which is usually barely enough time to get everything to level 3 and into a viable spot unless you're using the allotted time efficiently. And then there are some maps who only give you like 55 to 50 seconds and those are a little bit more difficult but I tried to do my best with them. And remember all of these rollouts are done solo. If you were to get any help with the upgrade process from spawn you get everything set up before the gates open pretty easily but these are all done under the assumption that you are the only engineer on the server and no one is suiciding for you to pick up their ammo boxes. The third thing I wanted to focus on was placement. It's pretty easy to get your buildings set up out outside of spawn, but getting those buildings into viable spots before the round starts is another obstacle. So I tried my best to have all of the buildings where they pretty much belong more or less. If I do feel like the spots I use temporarily during my setup time aren't as ideal, I will take a little bit of time after the round starts to move them around a bit when it's safe. Usually this is still okay to do in an actual game because very rarely will you be instantly assaulted the moment the gates open unless you're built very far forward, which I usually don't recommend. And you also might be wondering why I'm doing this again because a few of the OG subscribers might remember that I made a video detailing the basic concept of the Jag Effect rollout a little under two years ago. And while this video certainly does use that concept for pretty much every rollout, the Eureka Effect has been changed significantly since then in order to offer a much faster speed for upgrading, mainly because of the low placement and upgrade costs of teleporters. And also using the Eureka Effect during setup literally cuts your teleporter upgrade speed in half, not to mention the upgrade speed has been doubled during setup time after the Jungle Inferno update, which makes getting everything to level 3 before the gates open actually possible most of the time now. Something to mention here is that I kind of edited the rollout a bit from what it was when I first talked about it in 2015, the main thing being that I just dropped the dispenser and the teleporter entrance right away, skip putting the sentry gun down at spawn, and then I just walked to the first point without resetting my ammo. This is mainly because I decided that it is a little less convoluted to only worry about bringing the dispenser through the teleporter instead of having to double back again to grab the sentry gun. Usually it's just as fast or faster to upgrade the sentry gun using an on-site ammo pack or the nearby level 3 dispenser, or just teleporting back to spawn with the Eureka effect if you were going to use it anyway. So, even after I stop talking here, I'll still be showing rollouts on every payload and attack defend map of the core casual mode map selection. I didn't do CP well because that map has really really short setup time and plus it's a 5 CP map overall, so it's generally not a good idea to be using level 3s anyway. But other than that, you should be able to just use this video as a reference for any map where the Jack effect rollout is a viable way to spend your setup time. It kind of goes without saying that the Jag effect isn't really possible on maps without a set of time like 5CP or CTF, so pretty much all of these maps will be either payload or attack defend. Alright, so that's pretty much everything that I have to say about the Jag effect rollout. If you have any ideas for how to make individual rollouts that I'm showing off here slightly faster, just let me know in the comments. This subject is really interesting and fun for me for some reason. It's kind of like a weird engineer puzzle, I don't know. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the rollouts, and I'll talk to you later.
Did you, uh, did you watch the whole thing? Nah, you probably didn't watch the whole thing. I don't know why anybody would watch the whole thing. It's just a compilation of engineered doing stuff. It's just a reference video. You're supposed to skip to the point in the video that you need to look at for the map you're going to be playing on. I mean, it's not like you, you watch it from beginning to end. I don't know why you would do that. Anyway, if you did watch the whole thing, then uh, type in a chat. Uh, dispenser going up. <laughs>